Madagascar is a unique biodiverse country. Land of the baobab trees, lemurs, and unique forest. The spiny forest of Madagascar is an extraordinary biological experience. Over 90% of the plants here are found nowhere else on Earth. Unfortunately, the spiny forest is being destroyed to produce charcoal. In Madagascar, there are reasons for deforestation. The first is wood for fuel and charcoal production. Families need the wood to cook and to stay warm. When we first arrived and saw the devastation of the land, our Healing Seekers team couldn't understand why the people were destroying their land. But then I quickly understood. At night, the temperature plummets. When we camped out, it got so cold, I had three layers of clothes and a shirt wrapped around my head, and I still was cold. Wood means fire and warmth. Deforestation is also caused by logging for the beautiful Malagasy hardwoods and mining for gold and other resources in the rainforest. The unique plant and animal life that live in the forest are destroyed as the rainforest are destroyed. Only about 10% of the Madagascar forest remains. Another reason for deforestation is slash and burn agriculture called tave. Tave is a farming technique of cutting down acres of the rainforest, burning the area, then planting rice fields. After a couple of years of rice production, the field is left fallow for four to six years. Then the process is repeated. The soil becomes exhausted of nutrients. Scrub vegetation is all that will grow. On slopes, this new growth does not secure the soil and erosion and landslides occur. We've been traveling along and went through this area that was very lush, deciduous forest. And now we're uh, around this area that, with a lot of erosion. Soil erosion is one of Madagascar's greatest environmental issues. In fact, so much red soil is washing into the Indian Ocean by way of Madagascar rivers that from space, it looks like Madagascar is bleeding. It reminds me of a quote that Martin Luther King Jr. once said, and he warned that in life and in history, there is such a thing as being too late. And although clear cutting can be very detrimental to the loss of biodiversity on our planet, if we only give it time, nature will heal itself. The challenges facing this country are not insurmountable. There are always solutions to any problems. With wiser alternatives, this invaluable land may once again be allowed to thrive.